Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Um, I guess in my excitement and haste to share with the world the remarkable findings of Dr. Persinger and Todd Murphy, neuroscientist and author, uh, <laughs> I guess I stepped on the wrong toes uh, because I got screwed for that pretty hard uh, with YouTube telling me they're going to take away my account and all this other shit. And I wrote to him thinking, my God, seems like a sensible man. You know, what problem would he have with... What problem would he have with sharing, uh, you know, a couple of one and a half minute clips of the, the the moments I thought were really fascinating to draw more people to his, to his, uh, whatever. And he said, no, I'm not going to give you permission. I'm not going to retract my claim of copyright infringement. <laughs> Petra said, he works for the fucking government. He works for the watchers. I said, what are you, crazy? He's just some doctor working. And I looked up the whole thing. Uh, and yes, my silly brain. My silly brain that does not want to believe that everybody is a fucking conspiratist. That everybody has some connection to some secret bullshit. That everybody's not busy hiding and working and keeping their... You know, I, I mean, God, a professor, a doctor, who took some magnets, put them next to people's brains, and sent a bunch of pulses, uh, fractal pattern pulses, and discovered that, whoa, they had religious experience and ecstasy, and, uh, and they think there's another person in the room, and, uh, yeah, well, the military's been doing that same shit for fucking 40 years, man. So... I don't know what he's so fucking... Whatever, you know, <laughs> Petra was right. She said, look at this guy. Look who he works for. Think he wants anything to do with you? And I said, yeah, I guess you're right. These are the people that would actually know and understand this kind of technology that's being used, remote neural monitoring and shit. And they've probably all been told to shut up or we'll take your funding away. Although Dr. Persinger claims that aside from one little $10,000 grant he got from someone in the United States Navy who was interested in his work, he's funded it all with his own, uh, from his private practice. And that the university merely provides him facilities and, and whatever, so, hey, you know, whatever. So if I get banned from YouTube, Thank you all for watching. It's been fun. It's been nice. It's been uh, it's been hell, actually. It's been fucking hell. And uh, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Not even my worst enemies, because I don't have any enemies. Like you said in the movie, you be maybe my enemy, but I'm not yours. I got no or the other way around or whatever. <laughs> Who cares? So. That's that. Blah, blah, blah. Just thought I'd mention it. I got a bunch of videos I haven't uploaded, and I probably won't because... I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the whole... I'm sick and tired of people telling me I'm crazy. I'm sick and tired of people telling me uh, I'm on drugs. I'm sick and tired of people telling me I'm full of shit. I'm just tired of it. Uh, schizophrenia. Oh, he must be schizophrenic because he believes something that I don't believe. Really? Does that mean that the Jews are schizophrenic to the Christians and the Christians are schizophrenic to the Jews and the Muslims are schizophrenic? I mean, you know, how far you want to take this? Uh, I like one TV show, you like a different one. So you must be schizophrenic. I mean, you know, what is it about me that, that says schizophrenia? Is it the, 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 the ideation? 
the um, ideas of reference. Oh, everybody has freaking ideas of reference. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to refer to them. Human beings work that way. We have experience, experiential knowledge. And then there's the unknown. Stuff we haven't heard about, we don't know about, doesn't exist to us yet. Not until you see it or hear it or told about it, does it exist for you. So, here I am, back in the really expensive supermarket that I can't afford to buy food in anymore. Oh, speaking of which, there was an article in the, <coughs> in the New York local rag, I don't know which one, Daily News, whatever, same shit. Um, more than 1.8 million people or some shit are now on food stamps, and they all signed up in a big rush right after the Obama stimulus package went down the toilet. And the Obama stimulus package isn't stimulating any of those of us on the, on the lower rungs of the socioeconomic ladder. And the article went on to say that, uh, you know, that there's that normal people who work three jobs to raise their kids and, and you know, their wives work and their little kids even work. Um, 539, that just bites my ass every time I see it because it used to be a dollar. <laughs> or something like that, I don't know, 239 or whatever. Sir, we have 30 days, do not put the... Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 